Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me yet, I am Maya Logroño and I'm a filmmaker. And on the side, I make videos on YouTube that's very close to my heart. I've always wanted to make this video, mga 2017 pa, but I felt like I needed someone with professional knowledge to back me up with some data and with some technicalities. So here with me today is Dr. Pearl Lagman, a licensed <laughs> veterinarian from Pampanga. And we met in one of our shoots yeah. in 2017? I think so. Ever since then, we became friends, all thanks to social media and actually Next, next Guard. guard. <laughs> Oi, ad! Grabe, super laking pasasalamat ko yung Next Guard. I know, right? It's yeah. effective. Can you tell us more about yourself? Dr. Pearl Lagman po. Small animal practitioner ako. That means um, cats and dogs ang main na talagang mga patients na ina-address ko. Tsaka, uh, tini take care of. Aside from that, I'm also a pet owner, of course. Current practices ko sa profession is a small animal clinic bar and meows, city of San Fernando, Pampanga. Aside from that, since reliever lang ako, ano din ako, veterinary consultant ng Subic Bay sa law enforcement department nila na canine division. Training big dogs and working dogs, military dogs, tsaka taking care of their health din. Oh, that's so good. It's cool, right? Oh, oh. It's my dream job. <laughs> Tapos na nakuha ko yun. Yay! Anyway, I invited her for this video. Para pwede din ako makapag-consult with questions that may arise that only vets can answer. So, a little bit more about myself. I'm a pet owner. I have 11 cats and 1 dog. All of them are mixed breeds or puspins and aspin. Bata pa lang ako, marami na kaming alagang cats. Si Bigong kasi yung first dog ko. So, we had over 20 cats before. Dumating sa point na sobrang dami na nila, hindi na namin kaya mag-alaga. Tapos, dumating na rin sa point na kailangan na namin silang ipamigay. Kasi, mm. hindi na kaya ng budget. In short, wala kaming kaalam-alam about kapon. Kami yung tipong pag may nakita kami sa street rescue lang. Yeah. Hanggang sa yung mga female cats, nanganak ng nanganak. Yeah. Ngayon, naiisip ko pa lang na ang irresponsible kong pet owner nun. Hmm. Kasi wala talaga akong idea. Yeah, so ngayon, dahil a few years ago, na-discover ko ang pagkakapon. Uh -huh. And I can't help but share it to this platform para mas maging aware tayong pet owners. Mga benefits niya. Yeah. Very nice. Number one, I really like the fact that you admitted that you were an irresponsible for letting the situation blow up like that. Ganun din ako eh. Pet owner din na like, bata pa ako. Ako yung tipo din na pilapagalita ng nanay dahil nag-uuwi. <laughs> Kung ganun, ano yung makita ko sa ano. Ganun din yung parents ko before. Pero we learn from our mistakes. Exactly. Kaya gusto ko na we admit to that na basically, yeah, we learn too from experience. Pero all should practically sana move forward and do solutions for problems na na encounter na. Siguro ito yung one way of mm -mm. moving forward for uh -oh. me is to share yeah. my knowledge and mm -hmm. also Dr. Yeah. Pearl's knowledge about Para it. hindi nyo na maranasan, di ba? Ma marinig nyo na from those who mm -hmm. experienced it as well. Before we move forward with Kapon, Dr. Pearl, ano nga po ba ang Kapon? Ang direct translation niya actually is castration. Na generalized na siya na term na spaying and uterine. So, mag Iba po si spaying and neutering ha. Si spay is specifically yung pag-alis ng uterus tsaka ng ovary ng female animal. Si neutering is castration basically. Sa male lang yun. More technical term na sterilization. Yan. As a pet owner, mm -hmm. nag-research na ako before. Ano ba yung benefits? I guess yung number one benefit niya is it will help reduce overpopulation. Out of control na talaga yung population ng mga asot pusa dito. Kaya maraming napapatulog din. Halos everyday, no? May mga pinapatulog. Yes. May mga... Sorry, masakit pa. <laughs> Nakakalungkot isipin kasi it really all begins with us pet owners, I believe. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna back that up up with the facts, okay? Kasi, eh, nagtrabaho din po pala sa LGU for like four years. Nagmanage ako ng City Pump. If she can't really ano, discuss that kasi maintindihan ko, well, me as a veterinarian na nagtrabaho and nagmanage ng isang City Pump can actually tell you what happens. Okay? Meron tayong batas na kung tawagin ay yung Anti-Rabies Act of 2007. You can research that. At kasama na talaga doon na uh, required na yung mga Class A uh, cities at saka municipalities to have their own pound just to control the population of stray dogs and cats. Can you imagine, bakit tayo gagawa ng ganong uh, law kung hindi tayo overpopulated? Pag-euthanize, yung pagpapatulog or put to sleep, PTS as we call it, meron din siyang guidelines sa batas. Pag nahuli yung aso mo, like today, three days lang, kapag hindi mo siya niretrieve, papatulogin na siya. Why? Basically, sino magpapakain? Sino mag-aalaga? Sino, yan na. 
lalatag na lahat yan. Ang hirap, di ba? So, in-open pa rin naman siya for adoption just for 3 days. Ang mahirap doon kasi, syempre, hindi din naman kino ang mga tao na mag-adopt ng mga dogs from shelters. Mm -mm. Or pound, at least. Yeah, and the pound. <laughs> kasi na-stress ako. Flashback lang. <laughs> Oo, oh, na-stress ako. Sorry. Hindi, <laughs> okay lang. Na-stress ako dun sa work ko na ano, na I became a vet to treat, you know, to help improve malenten yung lives ng mga ano ng mga dogs and cats tapos was my job to like ano to comply or implement this law dahil lang sa kapabayaan ng pet owners you know so i gave up the job eventually you think inaya Next one is, it reduces dominance and aggression. Nagiging aggressive lang naman sila pag may mga dayong pusa. Pag yung may bagong salta sa neighborhood. Oo, gano'n naman. Territorial behavior yun. And every time we walk dogless din, most of the time, siya yung siya na-charge ng other dogs. Kasi siya ano na lang, docile talaga. Oo, gano'n lang siya. Never ko siyang narinig na nag-bark sa ibang aso. Anong age kasi na castrate si ano? I think between 7-8 months. Before that, nagkaroon ba siya ng episode na nagpakita ng aggression? No. So, that would be like a fixed behavior sa kanya na baka docile siya talaga. But, with regards to the ano, to the situations na binanggit, I heard three. Kapag ka no walk tapos may mga asong lumalapit. Si Douglas kasi doesn't really know already physiologically to react kapag ka meron siyang naamoy na ibang hormones na related to like the male thing, kung tawagin. Mm -mm. Kung male yan na lumapit sa kanya na play full lang, tapos mataas magsikrit ng testosterone na amoy niya. Meron tendency, yung isa ay maging aggressive towards Douglas dahil lang sa pagiging male nilang pareho. Kung baga high testosterone level lang siya, in a way. So, kung female naman, first time niya makaamoy ng pheromones ng babae, eh wala naman din siyang pang-react doon. <laughs> diba? Yung mga intact na males, ang tendency kapag may naamoy na nagsisikrit ng pheromones itong in heat na female, sasampayan. Doon nagagalit yung female. Kapag ka hindi pa siya in heat, Itong mga situations na to, wala ng physiological means to react si Douglas. Hence, nakakatulong yun para dun sa mga lesson yung quote-unquote aggression na tinatawag natin. Yung pag may bago sa lugar, that happens to like most packs. Kapag ka teritoryo mo na, teritoryo mo na. Pagka merong, ano, may bagong salta, it would take time bago makibagay. Mm -hmm. Ay, mabawa ako kagabi, di ba? Si Douglas, hindi pa naman siya, ano, kaninang umaga, okay na kami, friends na. <laughs> does it help? It reduces dominance and aggression? Yeah, it does. Kung baga, emotions are, kahit sa tao, emotions are dictated by, like, the hypothalamus siya kay reactions ng hormones. Mm -hmm. So, si reproductive system, mataas ang function niya kapag magproduce ng hormones at saka reactions towards situations na gano'n. So, remove that, then yeah, makakatulong siya talaga. I think it would be like a good idea then to, dahil dun sa sexual behavior siya, yung age kung kailan. Ideally, ang mas maganda talaga, if you would think about it, is yung before yung unang heat. Magiging totally innocent na siya of the, of the okay. idea of being sexually active. Dahil usually, males like yan, mga 8 to 10 months ang initial na magbinata. Kumbaga, mm -mm. mag-hunt siya ng, ano niya, ng partner niya. Next one is, it saves you a lot of money in the long run. Just think about it this way, na ang cost ng kapon ay mas mura compared sa pag-aalaga ng litter. Kung may mag-arise na problems. Medical conditions uh, medical na related sa reproductive system ng animal. Yes! Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Kasi meron mga diseases na like, pinaka-common siguro na maririnig is yung binanggit natin kagabi ng payometra. Payometra is a technical term na pag bin-breakdown mo, si payo means pas or nana. Metra is a term for uterus. So, literally speaking, nagkakaroon ng nana sa matres, yung female na dog. There are a lot of risk factors kung bakit magkakaroon ng ganitong incident yung ano or medical condition yung female na dog. You can name a few like bacterial infection, abortion, yung early silang mabuntis gaya yung binanggit ko. Ayun, oh, stay na yun after eh. Mamification ng mga fetuses, hormonal imbalance. You can name a lot of risk factors regarding that. And kapag ka tinamaan ng pyometra ang female na dog, you treat it with, ispay mo din siya. Ano ba? Um, Parang ginawa mo is backwards. ba? Diba? If ever na, hindi ka nagpakapon, uh -oh. tapos nagkapayomitra. Uh -uh. Ganon din yung gagawin. Ganon din. So, might as well na siya. have it done. Yeah. Siguro, largest na nakuha kong uterus from a uh, 18 kilo dog, dalawang kilo yung uterus niya. Dahil sa payomitra? Yay big! Yeah, because of payomitra. Malaki pa siya talaga literal dito sa arm ko. Wow. So, so ano yung niya physically? Akala 
nila ano buntis. lang siya, fluffy lang siya na buntis ah. na nagsisimulang mabuntis. O nung ano, nung nakita ko yung kanya sa vulva, meron na ako nakita ng parang liquid na distinctive na merong lumalabas sa mattress. Mm. So you do the diagnostics, you go for X-ray, blood uh, blood works para malaman mo kung magiging fit siya agad for surgery. But nonetheless, para lang alam mo kung yung risk mo kung gaano katindi kasi emergency case yun. Hindi mo siya matitreat ng antibiotics. Kung umabot ng ganun kadaming nana yung nandoon, mm. technically kapag ka ganun, hindi na rin sila magiging fit for having a litter. So, ang treatment talaga kapag ka payumita is the same thing. Ovarius hysterectomy, spaying. Sa boys naman, mas tumor related. Ang mga pinaka-common, prostate cancer at testicular cancer, mm. yeah, they happen, but they're lesser to be like a common situation na na-represent sa amin. Ang mas common talaga si TVT. TVT stands for transmissible venereal tumor. Akala mo umiihi ng dugo yung male dog, tapos kapag ka nakapa yung kanyang penis, merong parang cauliflower na tumors around. Ang key term doon is the word transmissible. Natatransmit siya through coitus, through penetration. Kaya common siyang makikita dun sa mga asong nakakakawala. Dahil nagbibreed sila, di ba? Yun, nagkakahawahan sila. So, common diseases siya kapag hindi kayo magpapahapon. May iwasan mo siya kapag early on mo pinakapon yung aso mo or ano mo. Kasi wala nga siyang behavioral instinct agad na to mount another dog para matransfer sa kanya. Mm -mm. So, yeah. So basically, it also prevents mga reproductive diseases. diseases. Yes, that's very true. So if you guys have pets na intact pa, so you may opt to have them spayed or, spayed neutered, or neutered as yeah. soon as possible. Next one is, they're likely less to roam around. So this is true for my pets. Mm -hmm. Kasi before, dahil in heat sila, three days nawawala sa bahay, tapos babalik na lang ulit. Naglagalak ka na naman! Yun, lalabas lang sila, tapos babalik ulit. Oo, parang sunbathing lang. Tapos okay na ako. Tapos pagkakain na, talagang babalik na sila sa bahay. Well, basically, it's linked dun sa behavioral patterns pa rin. The reproductive system is one whole system in the body that functions for a specific reason. Like, specifically, reproduction. Take that away. Just imagine na okay, hindi ko na kailangan mag-reproduce. So you can basically remove every ano na related doon, yung behavioral patterns na related doon. As long as early on mo siya may ano, mm -mm. mapaspay. So yung next one, feeling ko related din siya dun sa behavioral. Yeah. Yung they're more well behaved. Yeah. Kasi Behavior yung sa cat din namin, hindi na rin sila nagmamart ng territories nila. Yeah. As in, yung pag-iihi. Yung pag-iihi. Yes, oh, oh, spraying. spraying ng yung ihi, yung tataas yung leg. Yeah, yeah. specifically male. Mm -hmm. Actually, ganun din kay Douglas. ba diba yung mga ibang dogs na kikita ko, tinataas sila yung leg nila. Ah, mm -hmm. Ganyan. Kay Douglas, hindi. Siguro, tama lang yung timing namin nung, kay Douglas. Yeah. No? Nung napakapon siya. Uh -oh. If I were to, ano nga, yung mga ganun, 6-7 months ako. Yun. Pero syempre, okay pa din kahit mm -hmm. mga older. Oo, oh, oh, okay lang. Wala namang problema. Kung like ngayon nyo lang napag-decide na yeah, I would like uh, to neuter my dog. Go. Go. Paano kung 8 years old na yung dog? I would definitely run like ano, um, a total physiological profile muna. Mm, before the couple. Yeah, kasi so, kailangan... it is like geriatric na yan eh. Pa -pa geriatric na siya. So, I would ask to have like a table discussion with the owner muna. Mm -hmm. Kung ano yung situation sa bahay. Mm -hmm. Kumusta yung behavior niya. Kumusta ba yung physiology ng uh, function ng aso. Tapos, if they would still opt to like go for the surgery, I would then run na uh, blood chem muna. Na natin kung normal at kakayanin ng katawan niya na mag-undergo pa ng surgery, mas mataas kasi ang surgical risk kapag mas matanda. It highly depends kung ano yung situation then. And those are the benefits and halos lahat naman ng clinics dito sa Philippines nag-offer diba ng mga... Yeah. Private practice and neutering. Kung surgical yung clinic. Ang talamak na po ngayon ng ano, nung mga free spay and neuter that yung mga NGOs go down to the barangay mismo. Yung iba, like IWCT, Humane Society, AKF, just like, uh, search for their pages. Tingnan nyo yung mga schedules at kung saan-saan sila napupunta. So, so Doc Pearl, meron mm -hmm. pa ako mga questions mm -hmm. now that we're done with yeah. the benefits niya. What are the cons that you can think of aside from hindi na sila makakapag-reproduce ng litter? Being a vet, yeah, there are risk factors then. Pwedeng maging prone to other diseases naman 
ang spayed or neutered na animal which are like for example hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism yung mga ganun. That would be very technical na but yes, there are risk factors na pwedeng uh, nakasama si spay and neutered na maging factor siya kumbaga. But definitely it won't be the main reason why. What I am basically saying is kung meron man na included si spay and neuter sa pagiging worse ng isang medical condition, it would be like mga 1% or less, even less, less than 1% pa. And most likely, nangyayari yun. <laughs> nangyayari yun kapag uh, geriatric na yung patient. Kaya nga, ang mas main na magiging problema na noon isn't really the spade or neutered yung, ano, yung dog or cat. Mm -hmm. It's because of age na siya talaga. So, nagde-degrade na din talaga yung mga body functions niya. Dahil surgery siya, yeah. meron din talagang marriage. Ah, yung risk of death during uh, surgery? So, yeah. Run, meron run. pa din. Meron, pero... Pero um, ilang percent yun? Less para than, lang aware sila. Less than one. Or sige, max na natin one. So, syempre, ako, mas gugusuhin ko na i-risk ko na yun. Oo, oh, oh, diba? Kaysa naman sa... Yeah. Hindi sila ipakapon. Yes. Yeah, there are still cons. Hindi siya, ano, hindi siya... May mga ko. risks May talaga. May risks. Kasi, nga, surgery. For us, ano siya, worth it. Diba? Worth it. Like, one just look thing? at this. Ming, ming. Galambing. Mm -hmm. Diba? Okay. Okay. And next one is, ano yung masasabi mo sa mga taong sinasabing, wala kang karapatan, ipakapon yung <laughs> pets mo, or hindi yan makatarungan. May nagsabi sa kanyan before na, parang, why are you doing that to your cat? Parang, you have no right. Oh diba? my lord. Bakit ikaw ba mag-aalaga ng litter nila? So, actually, napakalata yung point. Sorry, yun yung, sag yun yung sagot ko, pero... Mm -hmm. Yung talaga yung pumasok sa mm -hmm. isip Kasi or... totoo naman. They're asking about kung may karapatan si Miss Mai or kung may karapatan ba yung ibang tao na ipakapon yung alaga nila, then yes. Because mm -hmm. they are the owners. They have all the right actually to decide on that. Kaya nga kami, City Pound pa ako, kahit na sa private practice. We lay the options sa inyo kung nahihirapan po kayo na mag-alaga na ayaw nyo na silang dumami, may option po tayo dyan. Ito, you can spay and neuter your pets. Now, final decision would still be the owners. Kung makatarungan ba siya, then yes. Cause, ang halimbawa, ikaw, new birthies. Nadidistract ako. New birthies. <laughs> kung ikaw, halimbawa, birthies, kung hindi ka na spay, tapos dumami ka ng dumami, tapos hindi mo na kayang alagaan din, no? Oh, sino mas kawawa nun? Hindi rin makatarungan. For... Diba? Yun, yun ang hindi makatarungan. Oh. Yung hindi mo, hindi mo ma-sustain yung five freedoms ng, ano, ng yeah. animal mo. Tama. Alam mo, yun ang mas hindi makatarungan. Diba? Yung, yung maging irresponsable ka na, ano, na pet owner. Kung hindi nyo mahanapan ng reason sa, par, na para sa mga alaga ninyo na ipaspay or inuter, hanapan nyo ng reason sa sarili ninyo na para sa sarili ninyo. Isipin nyo na lang, kapag ka dumami yan, naging financially constricted ka na, hindi mo na siya ma-maintain. Or ano, yung kasi yung usual na maririnig ko eh. Hindi ko na siya kayang alaga, hindi ko na siya kayang isustain. Ganun. Case on point is, why would you still allow that to happen? Gusto mong mag-usap ng practicality, then pwede tayong pumunta doon. Pero ba diba, ang basic lang na ano dun is kung hindi mo kaya na mag-maintain ng iba pang life forms. Mm -hmm. ba diba? Parang magkakaanak ka ngayon kung tutuusin eh. Kung wala ka pa sa ganong situation, then don't have a pet in the first place. Uh -huh. So, anong masasabi mo sa mga taong takot magpahapon? I would give the benefit naman na kung may, may mga taong takot pa rin dun sa idea na magpa-spay or magpa-neuter ng kanilang pet. It's okay mm. to be scared if you're having like questions or doubts or whatsoever, you can always um, come to us, tas mag-discuss tayo, usap tayo, tignan natin kung saan tayo mag-meet. And speaking of, where can they find you? Barks and Meows Animal Clinic, Titio San Fernando, Pampanga. <laughs> so this is it for today's video. Thank you so much, Doc Pearl, for being here with me for this video. Sobrang dami ko rin natutunan and I hope you guys learned so much from this too. So if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to comment it below or if may mga experience kayo na gusto nyong i-share about uh -huh. sa mga nakapon yung pets ganon. Mm -hmm. um, we'll try to answer them as much as we can. Please subscribe for more videos. So if you guys want to see 
more videos from us. So maybe we can do a series yeah. about pets. Ganun. Sure. Diba? Pets mm -hmm. and pet ownership responsibility. Be glad to. Yeah. So uh, glad. comment nyo lang if meron kayong recommendations for our video topics. Yeah, what do you want to, us to talk about? Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! Po! Po! Po!